Hello and welcome to part 2 of my cheese making at home video. If you haven't seen part 1 of this Cotswold cheese project, may I suggest you watch that video first. Just click on the part 1 button and that'll take you straight to it. Ok, at the end of the last video we had just completed the pressing process and the cheese looked like this. Now we have to let the cheese sit at an average room temperature of around 21 degrees Celsius, that's 70 Fahrenheit for 2 to 5 days, turning the cheese 4 times a day. Once the cheese feels dry to the touch we can move on to the next stage. And as if by magic, 4 days have passed and now the cheese looks like this. It has dried out enough to start putting on its first protective coat. The next step is to coat the cheese. I like to wax my cheese, but first I'm going to give it a coat of a special breathable antibacterial cheese coating. Not only does this discourage any unwanted mould and bacteria growth, it adds a protective layer over the cheese that prevents any pigments from the red cheese wax bleeding into the surface of the cheese. This also means a lot less wastage. Ok, we have our cheese ready for the first coating. I just wear rubber gloves and apply it with my hand. First we start at the top, rubbing it into all the grooves and dimples. Then start moving down the sides, making sure everything is well coated. Apart from the base, we will have to leave that until the top part has dried enough to turn it over. Usually around 2 hours. You can buy different coloured coatings of this particular brand. Red, green, yellow or black. This is the white one and when this one dries it has a clear finish. At this point I'd like to give those nice folks down at Goat Nutrition a mention. This is where I buy most of my cheese making ingredients and equipment. They have everything you would possibly need to get started in cheese making. I put a link in the description for the UK and Europe and the USA sites. Right, now it's time to do the base. Just turn it over and finish off the other end. Leave that to dry for at least three hours before we start the waxing. So I'll see you when this coat has dried. Ok, now it's time to do some waxing. We'll start by having a look at my small double boiler. It's just an old pressure cooker pan with a smaller pan inside to hold the wax. I don't use the smaller pan for anything else but melting the cheese wax. So once I'm finished using it, I just let it set up in the pan. I've placed a clock alongside the cooker so you can see how long the process takes. Most of the time is spent waiting for the wax to melt. That takes about half an hour. Right, the wax is up to temperature and we can get started. With your rubber gloves on, firmly take hold of the cheese. Make sure you've got a good grip before holding it over the pan. Then slowly but confidently submerge the wax to halfway. Lift it out, making sure all the drips have stopped. Now grasp it with both hands and place it on some waxproof paper, unwaxed side down. Now wait about 30 seconds and do the other side. Doing exactly the same as the first time. This is done six times altogether for a total of three coats of wax. You could use a natural bristled paintbrush and just paint the coats on. But I find this way much easier and a lot less messy. Just be very careful and deliberate about how you go about it and you should be fine. Ok, I'll fast forward through the rest of the procedure and get back to you at the end of the waxing and talk a little bit on how to store this particular cheese for the next two to three months.
Right, once the cheese is waxed it must be stored at a temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit with a humidity of around 80 to 85 percent. I store my cheeses in a wine cooler with a small humidifier running inside of it. All you should have to do then is to turn the cheese every week for two to three months or even longer if you want a more mature cheese. OK, I think I've covered just about everything you would need to know on how to make Cotswold cheese and hopefully you'll have a go at making it yourself. My next video will be on making everyone's favourite cheese, cheddar. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button, comment and hit the like icon. Right, that's it for now, so goodbye and thanks again for watching. Hello Max, you still looking for those funny coloured mice? <laughs>